Hello guys, I'm Naval Yamul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Data Master. So in the previous video, we have seen how to convert your CSV file to a Parquet file. And we have done that. Now, let me explain you how you can write the same data frame to a table. So in the previous code, we have written df.write.parquet. So you, have, you got a file with a name called uh, with a format called parquet now you can write it to a table also so for that let me create a new database first so for that let me use sql and just write create you can write create schema schema name or you can write create database database name also so let me create a new database with a database name called emp a simple employee database and if i go back to my data view so let me open this in a new tab new tab you can see here a new tab and I should get a new database called as an employee database here you can see in the employee database there is no data actually so now I'll be using one more SQL code just to write use EMP so you can write use database database name or you can just write use EMP so whatever data frame I'm writing it to a table I will be writing it to this database called EMP now I'll copy the same code here now if you want to write this to a table if you want to write this to a table you just need to mention instead of writing it as a parquet just write save as table you can see you got an intelligence also and you should write a table name inside that so when you are writing this you will convert your data frame to a table but but here we are not specifying any path so by default, if you are not specifying any path, it will store it in your Hive Meta store, in your warehouse, and this table will be your managed table. So if you want to know detail about managed table and external table, so I have one YouTube link, YouTube video on that. So I request you to please watch that. You will get a clear understanding on what is managed table and external table. So when I execute this, it will be by default a managed table because I have not specified any path and by default it will be a delta table only because I have not specified any format by default in Databricks it is a delta format now what is delta so I request you to please watch my YouTube video on all about the delta and the internals of the delta and now you can see your spark jobs are created and you have saved your data frame to a table let me go back and I have a quick refresh here so let me refresh this just let me click on other database and click on this no it's not refresh let me click on this page here and I should get one table inside an EMP database let me click on this and I can see your employee table so let me click on this and I can show you a few things here this is the delta format you can see the format is delta you can see all the column names look at the sample data quickly you can see the sample data and you go to the details and here you can see the type of the table is a managed table and it is stored inside your hive warehouse with the name called emp database and the table name is employees if you go to the history you get all the history of this table with version and timestamp which helps us to do a time travel so there is a good feature of this delta that is a time travel feature you can do it once you get into the delta table so this is how we have converted a data frame to a delta table thank you guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this so if you like it please subscribe to my channel like the video comment it and please do share with your friends thank you for watching again keep learning